Does she walk a lot? When I first braided it, I was like, oh. do you see this? This is from the men's collection, y'all. That, that rich girl. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Hey y'all, it's me, it's T, and I'm back with another video. And today, we are gonna be going over basically the only Zara fragrances that you need to try, okay? So, <laughs> we're gonna go over my top five, okay? Top five. It's hard to narrow it down because Zara actually has some really great fragrances that are affordable. Maybe your favorite designer dupes that you should definitely invest in. But first, be sure to subscribe, okay? And follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to grow over there as well. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm in this like really fun chair today. I'm enjoying it, but let's go ahead and get into the fragrances, okay? Number one is gonna be my newest Zara fragrance. So as you can see, I haven't used that much, but I'm actually wearing it today, okay? I'm very happy to have this a part of my collection. It's actually the Universal Oud Eau de Parfum by uh, Jo Malone, okay? So I love all the Jo Malone for Zara fragrances and this is a new one that I absolutely love. First off, let's just get into the packaging. It's really pretty. I love the gold top and the pink juice in the gold writing. It's so pretty. It looks luxe, but it was about 30 bucks, okay? No, but really I love this. All right. So, the main accords are of course oud patchouli, woody, um, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, earthy, okay? So, this is actually one of my first like predominantly oud fragrances, but I truly love it. So if you haven't had um, a chance to really get into a oud scent, I would definitely give this a try. This is like a easier palatable oud because oud can be a very like punch you in the face scent. And um, this is a great one to start with. As you look up the scents, as with most of the Zara fragrances, they don't give you that many actual notes when you look them up. So it's only three notes. The top note is black pepper, the middle note is the oud, and the base note is patchouli, okay? So pretty simple and it's pretty good, okay? And I won't lie, sometimes I will like layer it with a little bit of like something that's a little more vanilla-y, a little more sweet to go with this woody oud scent. So basically I can smell myself for this one because it's so good. Oh, So I really love the dry down of this. I will not lie to you, initially when I first braided it, I was like <gasps> But once it like settles down and you get into that middle note and the base notes, it is everything you need. So it's only right to go into this second one because it's also woody. And if you have seen my other videos about scents I'm wearing in 2022, y'all know that I love Zara Ebony Wood. It has a special, special place in my heart. Like this, do you see this? I wear this all the time. It's just so amazing, so fresh, so woodsy, so beautiful. Literally probably one of my favorite scents of all time and it's a Zara fragrance. I probably should have led with this, but y'all already know. If, you're, if you've been around here before, you know Zara Ebony Wood. <sighs> She's that girl. She is that girl. So the main accords for Ebony Wood is warm, spicy, woody, and soft, spicy, okay? The only three notes are Ebony, Cloves, and Pink Pepper, okay? Similar kind of to the other one of just only having like the wood, <laughs> the wood and some pepper, <laughs> but this is really, it is very woodsy, but also very fresh to me. There's something, I guess, maybe in that pink pepper that just smells amazing, and it smells like I can just wear it literally all the time. To me, this is an all year round scent. My fiance thinks that this is more of a winter scent, which I understand, because some people associate woodsy scents with the winter only, but I really think that you should get <sighs> Ebony Wood. If you don't get anything, get Ebony Wood because it's literally my favorite ever. Or at least go in Zara and sniff it, okay? So good, Zara Ebony Wood. Okay, number three. 
Is she Baccarat? I'm sorry, but this is Red Temptation, okay? Red Temptation by Zara. I kind of hinted in my last video of when I was talking about Cloud by Ariana Grande, and I was like, this is a good Baccarat dupe, but this is not the best Baccarat dupe. The best Baccarat dupe is Red Temptation, okay? Red Temptation smells literally exactly like Baccarat. Maybe even a little bit better. Literally, I cannot wear Red Temptation and not get compliments. This is really a compliment getter, just like Baccarat is. When I wear this, literally everyone thinks it smells amazing. It smells like Baccarat. Oh, do you wear Baccarat? Oh, is that Baccarat? No, is that Zara? And it smells good. And it smells amazing. Like, you see how much I use this? because it's that good. And that's another thing with Zara fragrances, I feel like I can heavy spray and go ham and really smell like a stunner because it's so affordable that like you're not tripping on if you're spraying too much or not. Like this was $30 and it smells bomb and I'm gonna wear it all over my body. <laughs> So it's amazing. If you are looking for a Baccarat dupe and you're considering Ariana Grande Cloud or I think there's one called like El Harmain. I don't know. I haven't tried that one yet, but I'm interested because they have one that's like close to the X straight. So I'm going to smell that one. But this, get this. This is literally number one Baccarat dupe, okay? You won't regret it. Get it and you comment down below and let me know how to go for you because it smells great. The next Zara fragrance I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually a men's. This is from the men's collection, y'all. The men's collection, but it's amazing. I love it. It is the Zara Tobacco Collection Rich Warm Addictive, okay? Because it is rich, it is warm, and it is addictive. Like you see, I don't know if you can see because it's a darker bottle, but I have used a lot of this. This is a fragrance that literally men and women can wear. It does have a little bit of masculine, but it's so sweet. It's still a sweet vanilla, you know? It, it's really great. Let me go ahead and pull up the notes. Um, and by the way, this is one that me and Kyle have worn, um, mostly me, but he has put it on and I've sprayed it on him before because it smells so good. The main accords literally say sweet, honey, coconut, tobacco, woody, floral, lactonic, don't know what that is, but tropical, vanilla, and powdery. All those things, I would definitely agree. Literally the notes are honey, coconut, tobacco, sandalwood, and cedar. Literally if you're someone who likes like jazz club or like other like boozy but sweet fragrances, I definitely recommend this for man or woman. This is not too masculine for a woman, even a feminine woman, to be honest. like. It literally just still smells super sweet. Um, maybe too sweet for some men, to be honest. But it's amazing. I love it. I love the bottle too because it's dark and it's nice. And it's just cute. And this is also a great scent to wear to bed. I wear this to bed all the time because it's just very cozy and sweet smelling. And sometimes you just want to like go to sleep smelling good, wake up smelling good. And the last fragrance is going to be fashionably London, okay? This also is a Jo Malone fragrance. Huh, it smells so good. It's such a floral, rosy scent, but it is amazing. I normally don't reach for floral scents unless it's the spring, but it's been something about this that when I have on a really girly and cute outfit, I'm like, I wanna smell like a pocket full of sunshine and roses. And this is like the perfect scent for that. And it's so good, so affordable, also around $30. And did you know that this was a Delina Do? Delina Do, baby. Yeah, Delina's about $300 maybe more, honestly, and this is $30 and just as amazing. So good, so good. Let's go ahead and pull up the exact notes for you. The main accords are rose, musky, citrus, powdery, floral, fresh, spicy. And the top note is bergamot, middle note is rose, and the base note is musk, and it is amazing. So if you're a girly girl, or if you just like floral scents, it is amazing. Oh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. There's something still so sweet in there. I don't know why it gives me like a pineapple off the like top, a pineapple and floral. Maybe I'm tripping, but it's so good and I love it. Um, 
fashionably London, also that girl, that, that rich girl. <laughs> That's what it's giving, that spoiled girl, fashionably London, so good. But yeah, these are my top five Zara fragrances that I truly love, and these may be the only Zara fragrances that you need to even try, because some of them Zara fragrances are not the best, but then when you find the good ones, you gotta snatch them up. I have multiples of some of these because they sell out. So even like the Red Temptation, the Ebony Wood, um, they sell out really quick. So be sure, and I'll try to link them down below and you can check it out, okay? Um, but that's it for this video. I have plenty other fragrance videos. If you're into that kind of thing, I mean, you must be because you're watching it. But you know, go ahead and click one of these, check it out, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, love you.